Hello everybody out there in the Frontline world and welcome back to another comic book review. And in this review, I will be reviewing The Flash, issue number 43. Now, guys, I've not been seeing eye to eye with The Flash lately. I've slowly but surely fallen out of the book. Um, from the costume down to the storyline, especially after the annual that just came out last month, I really have fallen out of the Flash series, but decided to stick with it just a little bit more to see how this is all going to end with Professor Zoom. This issue was another quick read. There were literally three parts to this story. The first part, Barry, as himself, confronts the father, and the father is telling Barry that he needs to be there. There's something he has to do. Uh, there's a reason why he broke out of jail, and it's in Barry's best interest to stay away from him. The middle part is Barry spending more time with Wally, so we're getting to see Wally's character finally develop a little bit more in the Flash book, and you see that him and Iris are sort of getting close, but not really, because DC apparently doesn't want people married, whatever. And then the last part of the book is again Barry's father trying to get the attention of the Flash, and what the, the best part of this book was at the end where Finally, the father admits to the Flash, not knowing that Flash is Barry, who Flash's or Barry's mother's real murderer was. And it was Adam Twine. We all know that it was Professor Zoom. And he also explains to the Flash that he needs the Flash to protect his son at all costs because um, Edibar has the same powers as the Flash. Flash promises to protect Barry and the father gets taken off to jail until and this is the grand finale, Zoom's group of people, which we got to see the development of that in the Flash annual, they attack the father and take him prisoner, and Flash tries to stop them, and that's where we get our conclusion. Here's some artwork, by the way. If you'd like to see what the artwork looks like in the book. Personally, this was a pretty qu quick read for me. I feel like a little bit finally developed, but again, the best part of the book was towards the end where... Barry finally got those answers that he's been looking for his entire life. And the Wally scene was very nice also. I will be sticking with this book in the format that I'm doing now. Uh, but it's up to you guys. If you've been really into The Flash, if you've been enjoying the story arc, you'll like this. If you're not really enjoying The Flash right now, this is a slow progression towards the end of the story arc. I have to give this a 3 out of 5 stars just because, again, an average issue, I'm not digging this new gold and red costume that they're presenting us with the Flash. Um, and again, the story is sticking to the same formula except for the intro where it has Professor Zoom beginning to plot the downfall and then demise of Flash. That's really it. So again, guys, up to you. Let us know what you think in the comments below about the Flash. And um, if you checked it out, what your thoughts on the book were, whether you agree or disagree with me. And as always, don't forget to check out more stuff right here on ComicFrontline.com. Got a lot of stuff going on on Zone4Podcast.com as well. And Frontline Gaming Zone has lots of games coming your guys' way both on YouTube and Twitch very soon. So take care, everybody. Keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys really soon in the next video.